So this uh, important point I want to make, this is drug deaths and mentions of tramadol or fentanyl on death certificates. This is from my favorite state, Texas, which is where I live. This is from 2016. The data don't look better as the years progress, but this is the best data that I could come up with. You're looking at total deaths, and what I want to point out is the green bar that's all the way up at the top that says psychostimulants. We're hearing a lot about um, other opiates, about tramadol, about fentanyl, about opiate deaths, but the leader up there is psychostimulants. It's not even cocaine. It's amphetamine-like drugs. And those amphetamine-like drugs, some of them are made still you know, in the backyards of farmhouses and things like that, um, or in suburbia or in trucks. But in fact, the DEA has been very good about reducing a lot of that production at home. It's mostly coming from uh, pharmacies, pharmaceutical grade, uh, prescriptions from doctors, from every other college student who now takes stimulants as a way to uh, get into Harvard Law School. Um, it's, you know, they wouldn't do that to get into medical school, of course, but to uh, law schools. Um, it's a, uh, it does stimulate your brain a little bit. Do we have a methamphetamine epidemic? The answer is yes. Uh, these are the data. These are the deaths from heroin versus methamphetamine from 2016. Poison control center calls. Uh, tox lab exhibits, that means how many times in toxicology labs are they turning up illicit methamphetamine or rather than um, heroin? Ends up that last set of bars, that tells the whole story. We're doing much better at getting physicians to decrease their prescribing of opiates. In, in Texas alone, I know that we've reduced it by more than 60%. Uh, What's happening in response is much higher prescription of stimulants, amphetamines in particular. So what about the epidemic? Um, it's physician overprescribing. Um, it's primarily around adult attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. Um, other medications like bupropion are being abused in the jails. Um, Street diversions showing up in these tox labs from police arrests and from the jails. And uh, the treatment programs, though, for stimulants are not yet showing this explosion in use. Why? There's usually a five to eight year lag period between when the epidemic really peaks and then people show up for treatment because people don't show up for treatment until things are really screwed up in their life. And um, so that means, you know, in the middle of law school or in the middle of some other Thing in their early life of their career, they'll find that life is really screwed up and that the amphetamine they've been taking to improve their performance has, in fact, deteriorated their performance.